How are we doing today? You know, Coach Bryant had an old saying, you never know what a horse can pull until you give him a heavy load. So we obviously have a huge challenge, pretty heavy load in terms of playing on the road against a good team. And I think everybody needs to understand if you're going to pull the load, you got to prepare the right way. You got to work the right way. You can't make mental errors. You got to be able to stay focused when you're playing on the road. You got to overcome, you know, their emotion, their intensity, the crowd, all, all kinds of challenges. So uh, we'll kind of see what we're ready to pull all right, when we go out there and play on Saturday. We'll start with Michael. Clarified this offseason that the horns down hand gesture would be a penalty. What, have you addressed that with the team going into this game? What, what's that? The horns down hand gesture could be a 15 yard penalty. I have not addressed it with the team, but I appreciate you letting me know that. So, you know, we got a lot of other things we need to really worry about. But I think that's a good thing for me to go over with the team. So I appreciate that. Coach, last week you mentioned that Cam Latou was going to be returning to practice. How has he looked since he's gotten back? Good. He's doing well. 100%. Runs well, moves well. You know, practiced quite a bit last week. Thought he needed another week of practice. So, you know, this will be his first game. So, it'll be a little different for him than some of the other guys who got to play last week. But from a health standpoint, we think he's, you know, ready to go. After looking at the film, just what did you see from all four corners and what maybe more do you want to see from them moving forward? Uh, I think everybody needs to focus on you know, improvement. You know, each week there's new challenges, new things, new patterns, new things to match up. Who can do that the best? Who shows the most maturity? Who can stay focused? Um, who can play with the most consistency? So uh, that's always the challenge at every position and it's certainly the challenge for those guys at corner. Yeah, you talk about preparing for everything that's going to come on Saturday. It's supposed to be 90 degrees for most of the day. The players have mentioned, you know, taking sodium shots. I guess in what ways are you guys preparing for, you know, cramping or just the, the elements of the weather for the game? Well, we do just about everything we can. You know, we give guys hydration tests and tell them on a daily basis. You know, do they are they fully hydrated? Do they need to be hydrated? Um, you know, we use IVs for some guys who have you know, really bad problems uh, in terms of how much they sweat. It's 90 degrees here every day, so we're, we're managing this every day. It's not something that's new, you know, for us to have to deal with. So, um, but I do think that part of preparation is what you do off the field, how you hydrate, how you eat, how you sleep, how you rest. All those things are really, really important when you're getting ready to play in difficult circumstances, difficult conditions, you know, and the heat certainly creates a difficult circumstance, no doubt. What stands out to you about uh, Texas's offensive line? Uh, you know, they got a couple young guys playing who are really good players. They got a couple veteran players, center and one tackle that are really good players. So um, uh, they were very impressive last week in terms of the way, you know, they played, how they protected the quarterback, uh, how they ran the ball effectively. So. Uh, I think they're much improved and uh, really a good solid unit. Even though they've got two young guys, they're, the young guys are really good players. You, you've struggled a bit in the past guarding uh, running backs that can catch the ball. How much improvement have you seen with the, the experienced linebackers you have at, at, at kind of improving their coverage skills and, and picking those up? Um, can you be more specific? I mean, who do we have trouble guarding? In the past, I, I, I'm. There's been a couple times with tight ends and. I, and you said backs. And That's. And running backs, both of them as well. Oh, okay, so tight ends too. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it depends. You know, the linebackers are not running backs. Um, Jameer Gibbs, their number five, is probably um, a little better athlete than some of our guys that are going to be covering them. So they got to do a great job in technique. We got to affect the quarterback so he doesn't have a lot of time to throw it. And, um, you know, so hopefully if we can make him protect, sometimes we'll have to cover him. But he is a good player. And I've said it many times, tight ends and um, running backs are, you know, mismatched players because, you know, linebackers are bigger, more physical guys, and they've got to be really good athletes to be able to play in space to cover them. 
I think our guys have improved, and I have confidence in our guys, but it'll be a challenge for them. Back to the cornerbacks, will that competition continue this weekend at Texas? Uh, I haven't decided that yet. It's continued this week in practice, so we're taking it one day at a time, so we'll see what happens. Joel